Arium is making waves in the Korean entertainment world with her controversies. She was accused of scamming friends and fans and lying about her ex-husband abusing their kids. On October 20, 2019, Arium married her non-celebrity businessman boyfriend, Kim Young-jul. In 2022, it was revealed on Between Marriage and Divorce that they are facing problems in their marriage. Arium was seen on the show getting into an argument with her husband, Kim young gul Arium is then shown seemingly making up her mind to get a divorce. During an argument, her husband hints that the couple has been considering getting a divorce. What would you do if you got a divorce anyway? Probably just lie around watching dramas and complain that you're stressed out. Arium then replies that she has made up her mind about getting a divorce. This is why I am divorcing you because you are only capable of talking like this. Then Arum and her husband visited a couple's counselor to take a personality test and reflect on themselves. The counselor expressed, you're both aggressive. The wife wants to be equal, but the husband is patriarchal and conservative. Arium then said, my husband only sees the shortcomings of what I do. If I deviate from what he thinks, he doesn't see it as effort. He ignores me. I don't want to be in a relationship that ignores my feelings. I feel comfortable alone. The counselor then revealed Arium's mental health was in a dangerous condition as her test results indicated she had thoughts about taking her own life. She shared, when I go to the restroom, I see tools like that. I'm scared of myself when I think that way. I don't think I've taken care of myself. Kim Young Joel further shared, I suffered a severe case of employee depression. If it wasn't for my son, I couldn't made an extreme choice as well. I endured it with a sense of responsibility. After the consultation, Arium said, My husband said that what he wants to say to me and what he thinks of when our marriage comes to mind is I'm sorry. That made me want to cry, while Kim Young Joel expressed, I learned a lot of things. I think it might be an opportunity to change. It seemed that they were going to keep working on fixing their marriage, but then the next year, in 2023, Arium shocked everyone by announcing her divorce and upcoming new marriage. On December 10th, the former Tiara member took to her personal Instagram to share the news that she is currently in the midst of a divorce lawsuit while simultaneously revealing her plans to remarry. I have found someone that I want to be with always. Someone so precious that I didn't want to reveal him. Someone who has brought such genuine love into my life like an aurora that we have decided to openly acknowledge it after careful consideration. This person has shown me the essence of happiness during times when life left me weary, and perhaps they endured even more than I did. Even in situations where they could face harm, they were the only ones who willingly stood by my side when I faced adversity. This person has filled the times when I was in pain about my dreams with hope and excitement, and this person has been very precious and thankful to make all my dreams come true. I am still in the midst of a legal dispute. Even before meeting my current partner, I had endured a great deal of pain. Although there is substantial evidence that I cannot divulge, I will refrain from doing so out of respect for the fact that he is the father of my children. Despite his use of derogatory words towards the end, I believe everything will be fine as long as I remain confident. In an attempt to clarify her situation, she offered her interpretation of cheating and stated that she and her husband had effectively been separated without the formalities of divorce. She explained, I define cheating as loving someone while also loving others. I raised my second child alone and lived with the sole purpose of caring for my children for a significant period of time. It's time for me to enjoy my life now. Once the lawsuit concludes, we will register our marriage and honor our promise to get married. While I haven't officially divorced, it was a separation that occurred several years ago, but legal formalities were never completed. I believe additional words are unnecessary. The timeline left netizens puzzled, as it seemed to contradict Arium's recent public announcement that she and her husband had effectively separated several years ago without undergoing the legal formalities. A month after her appearance in between marriage and divorce, Arium surprised everyone by announcing her second pregnancy, stating, My husband even cooks for me now. My second child is a treasure because everything in our house changed, and we're happy now. We both wanted a second child. It wasn't a mistake. We're thinking of a third child as well. So how can they be separated for several years when they had their second child not that long ago? 
She basically wrote that it was hard for her to get a divorce since her husband didn't want to sign the papers. Why did she announce to the whole world that she had another lover? Isn't it bad for the lawsuit if she does this? Why is she publicly sharing information that won't be beneficial to her? She gave birth last year in December, and yet they were effectively separated? What? So, she is saying that they were not legally divorced for years when they essentially were, but that they still had a child recently. This kind of timeline, of course, caused cheating allegations and was also the reason she announced her new marriage as she got pregnant. But she shut down all the rumors in the interview. There are people who speculate that I was pregnant, and that was the reason why I made my marriage announcement, but that isn't true. I didn't get divorced because I met this new person. I was already in the process of getting a divorce before meeting this person. Several media outlets engaged in speculation, suggesting that Ariam's partner could potentially be associated with the scriptwriting of Believer 2, as he had shared posts related to the film on his social media accounts. Ariam clarified all the rumors. There seems to be a misunderstanding. My partner is unrelated to Believer 2. So, I hope that speculative articles and reports can be restrained. She added, he operates a cafe and has participated in various projects, but I cannot provide more specific details at this moment. I ask for your understanding. Then, a post titled A Girl Group Member is About to Marry the Second John Chung Jo caught many people's attention. Many will remember John Chung Jo as the fraudster who married an Olympian athlete, only to be exposed for their many past crimes. The Post's author claimed that they feared an incident similar to the John Chung Jo scandal would occur after reading about a girl group member who announced her new marriage while still divorcing her ex-husband. Seriously, I am writing this because I am afraid a scandal similar to the John Chung Jo incident will occur. I was shocked after reading that a former girl group member announced she was getting married to her boyfriend while still in the divorce process with her ex-husband. The idol's boyfriend is claiming that he is a writer, but he is an acquaintance of mine who recently was released from prison. He was in prison for fraud and sexual assault. He was also charged with assault, defamation, and several other crimes. There are many women who were victims, and I am one of them. First of all, that man has been divorced before, and it is my knowledge that he assaulted his former wife. After his divorce, he would lie to women about his identity, he is unemployed, and defraud them out of money. He would also take pictures of women's intimate areas while they were sleeping and would record women while having s with them, these were used to threaten the women. When he couldn't keep up with his lies, he would physically assault them and then tell the police that he was the victim. His victims have since come together, and we discovered that his patterns were always the same. Then on December 13, the idol uploaded a post to her Instagram in response to rumors. I believe a lot of you have seen articles like this. There is nothing more to say. I am currently looking for the person who wrote this article and the person who spread the rumor. I am thinking of suing all of the malicious comments in other articles, YouTube videos, and portal sites. How great would this world be if we cherished what couldn't be seen? If people knew the pain and tears behind the truths untold, then there wouldn't be malicious comments. Everyone wants to heal their own wounds, yet they so easily wound others. I made up my mind after seeing the person I love in pain. I never cared for malicious comments targeting me, but I can't forgive them for hurting the people I love. He is someone who is warm and supports me. He is someone who sacrificed himself and took care of me. The rumors are false, and I am not bothered since I know this person. I believe the person who uploaded the rumor knew I would respond. Though she personally shut down rumors about her fiancé, it seems many still persisted. On December 14, Ariam revealed her fiancé had attempted to take his own life after allegations against him involving s assault and fraud. She expressed, because of all the contacts and malicious comments about my boyfriend, he attempted to take his own life. I want to ask those who caused this. Are you happy now? I'm used to malicious comments, but my boyfriend isn't. I'm shaking in anger writing this. My heart hurts thinking of all the pain Oppo went through these past couple of days. I can't help but think it's because of the malicious comments, speculation, and harassment. I'm crying as I think of how hurt and scared he was and how I couldn't protect him. Regardless of the fact that he still woke up, I will strongly punish those who wrote these things. 
Then on March 2nd, Ariam made shocking allegations against her ex-husband, accusing him of abusing their two children. Ariam secured custody of the children and exposed the abuse they suffered. Additionally, she disclosed that her ex-husband's abusive behavior extended to her as well, marking a pattern of violence throughout their marriage. Hello, this is Lee Ariam. As you may know, I am currently in the midst of a lawsuit. It's a somewhat sensitive matter, so I've been proceeding cautiously, but I feel that this is something all citizens should know about. Things like child abuse, which we've only seen in the news, have happened to our children. I'm about to bring up something a bit difficult. Currently, I have custody of all the children. Until now, Mr. Kim, who has been in litigation throughout our marriage, has never given us any money for gambling, freely taken out loans, or even provided living expenses. I met the children for the interview negotiation and heard shocking stories. If I were to speak exactly what was recorded, they say that they frequently threw a toddler who was not even a year old onto the bed, and when the five-year-old made noise while Mr. Kim and his mother were sleeping, they were hit, pushed, and thrown out of the house. Furthermore, it's said that they spit on the children's faces, urinated on their faces, and even defecated on the older child's face. From bruises on the children's bodies to things the older child says. These incidents were only happening to the children, and throughout our marriage, Mr. Kim also committed many acts of violence against me, in addition to other shocking behaviors. I have gathered all the recorded evidence and will definitely fight to win. I will also reveal the heinous acts Mr. Kim committed against me throughout our marriage. This, too, is beyond imagination, but the fact that such things happened is truly beyond imagination. The reason I did not reveal the actions taken against me is because of the children. However, once they were harmed, I will no longer show any mercy or forgiveness. I sent the children away under the promise of a quick divorce, but I have been continuously trying to bring them back, and finally, I brought them back and learned about these shocking stories, so I am writing this post to inform the public. These incidents were only happening to the children, and the heinous acts of violence against me throughout our marriage will be revealed later. Wow, people in these comments concerned about whether or not she's lying instead of whether or not the children are okay. And so many people in here don't even understand how divorce works in Korea. And that so often the husband gets the children. And they don't do custody. The way Western countries like the US, Canada or even Australia does. She's lucky she has enough money. She can fight, but if she didn't have money she wouldn't be able to sue him. She wouldn't be able to get her children back. She probably had to go through a lot to get her children back. And she stated she has video. She has documentation. And if the older child is telling her what happened, that older child is probably now also telling counselors a psychiatrist and even law enforcement. Instead of trashing her you should be supporting her for getting out of a bad marriage and getting her children away from abusive people. Then on March 25th, share her story of alleged physical and emotional abuse by her ex-husband Kim young gul According to the former idol, her husband began getting upset over her purchases of necessities like vitamins for their two children, which later escalated to his physical assault of her with their children in the room. Ariam alleged that in November of 2021 Kim young gul had lost his temper and ripped off her clothes, choked her, and threatened to unalive her in front of their child. He beat me enough to give me bruises around my nose. He also punched the bottoms of my feet, so I couldn't walk for a while. He got a call from his mother in the middle of the physical assault, and he claimed Ariam was the one acting violent and needed to be placed in a psych ward. When he received another call, she ran out of the home with their child. Ariam stated she attempted to work on their marriage despite the physical abuse, and the couple appeared on Between Marriage and Divorce where she decided to hide aspects of her marriage from viewers. Following the program, the couple's relationship improved, which led to the birth of their second child, but the abuse continued according to Ariam. She also alleged her ex-husband had a past of gambling and soliciting prostitution before and during their relationship, and she stated her ex had been drinking at an adult entertainment business while she was in the hospital with their second child. She further stated she wouldn't be able to sue her ex-husband as she didn't keep records of the physical abuse. A day later, Ariam was taken to a hospital for treatment after attempting to take her own life early in the morning of March 27. In an Instagram story, Ariam's fiancé posted, Thank you to Ariam's fans and those related to her who are reaching out with your concern and support. Please do not make any unnecessary or weird requests of me. Please be appropriate. 
a person is in pain and unconscious. Please refrain. I beg of you. I pray Arium will be okay. On March 28th, Arium regained consciousness after falling into a coma due to an alleged in a live attempt. Arium then left the below comment on a video posted by a YouTuber Lee Jean Ho, writing, I started with a lawsuit about child abuse. It's so fascinating that this is the first thing I see when I regained consciousness. I will be suing you for spreading false information. In the video, Lee Jean Ho claims Arium's fiancé attempted to extort money from her followers and fans. Though Arium previously claimed she was hacked by a fraudster, Lee Jean Ho alleges Arium's fiancé had told their followers they needed money for surgery as she was pregnant and hospitalized. The YouTuber further alleged Arium's fiancé admitted to asking followers for money. On April 1st, Dispatch delved deeper into Arium's latest controversy. On April 14, 2020, So Dong Hoon made repeated transfers via phone banking. The amount transferred was one Korean won each time. The recipient was his ex-girlfriend. Each time So Dong Hoon sent one Korean won, he wrote a different transfer message, you turned me into a devil. You shouldn't have handed over the phone. I won't say it twice, I will take revenge. Let's see who gets punished, even if it means jail. I'm just waiting for that day. I'll do it right. Just get lost. Do you even know what revenge is? I've been thinking about you for months. Be prepared, I'll take my punishment well. You'll be punished by me, you bitch. Is your brother, that bastard, doing well? My last day will be your death. I'll come back and Una live you brutally. This is my sweet thought. After all, I'm a madman. I'll definitely Una live you when I return. And very brutally. This is my final goal. So Dong Hoon transferred one Korean one more than 60 times. From 12.18 a.m. to 8.31 p.m., he continued his threats for 20 hours. On May 13, 2021, So Dong Hoon was sentenced to two years and six months in prison. He was convicted of fraud, threats, and S-violence crimes. There were three victims, including his two ex-girlfriends. The defendant is sentenced to two years and six months in prison. The defendant is also ordered to complete a 40-hour S violence treatment program and is banned from employment at institutions related to children and the disabled for three years. The defendant must pay the plaintiff 30,140,269 Korean won. After being released from prison in September 2023, So Dong Hoon posed as a writer. He introduced himself as a movie scriptwriter and screenplay writer, using a business card from Latte Entertainment and mentioning a movie titled Mother of the Island. Their connection began around October. According to So Dong Hoon, Arium reached out first via social media direct messaging saying, Hello, I'm Arium. I've been living separately for six months. Two months into their being acquainted, they asked a friend for money. In December 2023, Arum asked her for financial help, citing a lawsuit with her ex-husband and a need for 2 to 3 million Korean won. She promised to return three times the amount borrowed, claiming to have an upcoming drama and Latte Castle advertisement contracts worth 1.4 billion Korean won coming her way. When they did not respond, Arium followed up in February 2024, claiming she was very sick, had been in a car accident, needed to go to the hospital, and would receive money in three days. After A remained silent, Arium then said, I took care of the accident but I'm very disappointed. Hope you have a good life. In February, Arium called B, a friend from her postnatal care center, claiming she needed money for divorce lawyer fees. Additionally, Arium unknowingly made B a guarantor for a loan she took. B was unaware until the loan shark contacted her, finding out her identity had been used. Arium sent a photo with her ID next to her face for verification, leading to the transaction. But now, claiming to be hacked or threatened by her boyfriend, puts us in an absurd position. B expressed frustration to dispatch, stating that she is more angered with Arium and the fact that she was exploiting the people who genuinely cared about her. On March 2, 2024, Arum exposed her ex-husband's alleged child abuse, claiming he urinated and defecated on their children's faces. However, the child abuse claims were unilateral from a room, and the validity of the claims couldn't be verified. Interestingly, So Dong Hoon told Dispatch. 
The child abuse was a fabrication by a room. It's a video a room filmed by herself for over an hour, scolding her kids. If the child said no, she hit them on the thigh with her fist. Later, the child told me, mom said she'd buy me a toy. Dad never pooped on me. Dot. Of course, so Dong Hoon's words also lack credibility. His interview with Dispatch coincidentally happened after he had a fight with a room. However, one thing is certain, a room began borrowing money under the pretense that the child is sick, with So Dong Hoon also joining in. Specifically targeting Tiara fans, the two individuals managed to fraudulently obtain over 30 million Korean won from them. Victim C said, she said her kid is sick, she sent me a DM saying she doesn't have enough money to take the child to the emergency room. There were reports about child abuse and I felt bad so I lent her money. The Instagram DM or room sent to see or room, the second child is in the ER. The child can't even poop, crying so much. It's really upsetting, but I have nowhere to quickly say this. Being a public figure, may I ask for a favor? We're short for the emergency room fees. See, I'll send it. How much do you need? A room, we're short by about 800,000 Korean won. The masked singer appearance fee will come in on the 6th, along with money from other places. I'll greatly repay you. See, I can't do 800,000 Korean won. I've sent as much as I could. A room, can't you do 500,000 Korean won? Ah, uh, it's sudden, but I don't even have that kind of money right now. I thought you were a good person, but I won't forget you. I'll invite you to the fan meeting. So Dong Hoon called C. So Dong Hoon, you saved a room and the child. You'll be blessed. Now the problem is we have to cover the hospital bills. Please help. So Dong Hoon, we're moving to the hospital room. MRI and CT. The kid can't breathe, so needs to be in the pediatric ICU. This can be paid all at once but they're saying we can pay in installments see, isn't it usually settled at the billing department when you're discharged? So Dong Hoon, it hasn't been registered at the billing department yet. There are many additional tests. You have to pay to be admitted, they say. Mr. C, I want to know exactly how much. So Dong Hoon, 912,000 Korean won. C arranged for the money to be transferred through personal savings, credit card loans, cash services, and even private loans. Dispatch checked C's bank transaction history. C transferred a total of 3.15 million Korean won to a room in six installments. So Dong Hoon while trying to get money from her threat end to in live himself. So Dong Hoon, bro, I really want to in live. Should I jump from the 10th floor of the hotel lobby? C. Don't do that. So Dong Hoon, C, just a little more help, please. C, how much more do you need? So Dong Hoon, you know I'll take of you, right? 3 million Korean won. Should I kneel? Just selling my car would get 200 million Korean won. C, okay. I'll do what I can. Then, they shifted to claiming medical expenses for a room. A room claimed she was hospitalized and needed surgery for problems with her uterus and thyroid. After the surgery ends, I need another one. I'll contact you when I'm a bit more conscious. We're short 2.2 million Korean won to proceed with the surgery. I don't want to die over this 2.2 million Korean won. It's urgently needed, so please help me somehow. They kept begging her money. A room frequently utilized the hospital excuse. She sent a photo to Mr. D, who lives abroad, showing blood collected in her uterus, wearing a gown from Cheongong University Hospital. Then, she pleaded, we're short 140,000 Korean won for the hospital bill. A room sent DMs to numerous people. G also received a DM asking for financial help. G suspected a room was hacked and requested a verification photo of her holding up three fingers. A room sent one from the hospital room. As the controversy regarding financial fraud persisted, a room claimed, I was hacked. Yet, she provided a real-time verification photo featuring a three-finger photo, which could only have been taken by her, contradicting her hacking claim. A room in So Dong Hoon targeted the Queen's fan club. 
Among them, H was a top fan of Tiara, known as a true fan among the queens. He even attended Arum's wedding. On March 22, Arum asked Mr. H for help, claiming she was admitted to Chungang University Hospital with uterine bleeding, cysts, and thyroid issues. Mr. H couldn't help but feel sympathetic. Mr. H transferred 1.7 million Korean won to Arum. So Dong Hoon's account received 2.5 million won. However, now they are attacking Mr. H. When Mr. H formed a victim group, they threatened legal action. There are more than 10 victims. The monetary demands via DMs from Arum and So Dong Hoon could be considered fraud. Lawyer Bang Yung Hyun stated, we need to verify where the money was spent. If money was borrowed under the pretext of lawyer fees, hospital bills, and then used for other purposes, it constitutes fraud for a specific purpose. So Dong Hoon provided dispatch with Kakao Talk conversations where he borrowed money through DMs to gamble on sports betting. The conversations included borrowed money, bet quickly, bet on Toto now. According to So Dong Hoon's ex-wife, he had lost the house deposit money to gambling during their marriage. If either of them used the borrowed money for gambling, it could be considered fraud and embezzlement. Dispatch called a room on March 25 to verify So Dong Hoon's claims. However, a room responded, I never borrowed money. It's hacking. Don't call me, and blocked the call. I told all of y'all that her accusations and in a live attempt were fake. Not one person from the police or hospital ever said she was hospitalized due to her side attempt and the only article I saw said according to Arum, there are reports she was rushed to the hospital due to a Unalive attempt like how can Arum be giving statement if she's supposedly unconscious I also said how miraculously and suspicious it was that she woke up from being unconscious just in time to answer an internet troll video. It was obvious that she was about to be exposed for scamming her fans that she used that manipulation tactic to make you all feel sorry for talking bad about her. She really used a fake s to spin the story of her being a victim and y'all fell for it. She even did it to her own friend after they didn't lend her money. It's manipulation and then she tries to make that friend feel bad for not lending her the money. She's a horrible person. Now it says she physically hurt her children in order to fabricate this lie that the dad hurt them. No wonder she claimed she couldn't sue she had way much more to lose than him. Girl is laying there with full makeup lol if people are dumb enough to buy this they deserve to be robbed. Then, on April 2nd, Arum posted a new Instagram story, once again claiming that she had been hacked and someone was using her name to extort money. I just saw the messages about Toto, whatever that is, which caused confusion even to our mother. It's a prank by a hacker. I have never shared that kind of message with Appa, her boyfriend, I don't even know what Toto means. If, by any chance, an investigation is conducted due to this hacker, and they check my phone records thoroughly, they will find out. But the level of conversation from the hacker is so low grade that there's nothing to say. I don't speak using such low level language mixed with insults, nor do I disrespect my boyfriend like that. We deeply respect and care for each other. I'm also handling the incident with my boyfriend and the malicious comments and issues about me, so today, I enjoyed some fresh air and took a walk. I am now returning to my usual self. To my fans, please don't be confused and don't worry about me. On April 5th, a room took to Afrika TV to discuss the recent issues that have been circulating. She disclosed her ongoing efforts to regain custody of her children. A room revealed that her children are currently being housed in a protection facility managed by the Siachogu office. Due to my complaint against my ex-husband for child abuse, authorities have intervened to ensure the safety of the children. Despite my efforts, I can only receive occasional photos of them. It's not accurate to say that I borrowed money. Many people extended their support to me during a difficult time. Addressing her current relationship status, Arum shared surprising news, saying, Yes, I am in a relationship, and in addition, I am currently expecting a child. I don't know what to believe anymore this such a mess I mean if she was really hacked then prove it and get the police involved or something. It doesn't look good on Arium, time will tell what will happens to her. What are your thoughts? Thank you for watching and see you next time.